Argao is considered as one of the biggest and oldest municipalities of the Cebu province. It's rich in diverse culture, heritage, traditions, tourist spots filled with good-natured people called the Argawanos. This afternoon, we're going to talk about not only Torta de Argao, not only Tuba, not only about the Blea. This is actually considered or can be associated to the name Argao, but on something that is really unknown to everyone, which is called Hablon, that has been passed on from generation to generation and has actually been considered as a tradition. If we talk about Hablon, it actually originated from Habol, which is actually a cloth used to cover if you if you're feel very, very cold or to free yourself from mosquito bites. The woven product is what we call in Hablon, and Hablon is actually the finished product which we're going to be our focus for this um, connection. I have the privilege and the honor today to have connections with Dexter Alasas, a fashion designer and a, so a social entrepreneur who would actually talk to us about Hablon. Um, I, I, I believe Dexter, um, the discovery uh, on Hablon started uh, way back in 2007. Would you like to tell me about this discovery and how you, 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 you had this parang love and, and um, connection with Hablon? Okay. Um, back in 2007, um, I really started um, looking for a fabric that we call our own here in Cebu. Because uh, when I joined Mega Young Designers Competition in Manila, like everyone is trying to promote something organic from their own city. So me as a representative in Cebu, I'd like to promote more than just the craftsmanship of what Cebuano designers can do, but rather on the material and the um, components that we can boost um, um, in the country and the whole world as well. So I started to um, research about weaving and um, the story behind the Hablon. And I heard there's um, um, a weaving industry in Argao. But um, at that time, it's so hard for us to you know, come to Argao, um, medyo layo siya sa ating city. And then um, I heard that you have to go to the, the, the Bukid Park, which is like the mountainous area. But when I realized, it's just really near. So um, I tried to ask you know, um, friends, uh, even writers, historians, if they could help me. Um, so you really went on research about this. Yes. Uh, can you mention that I'd like, um, what our introductory conversation you were saying that there's a story behind that one. Um, what, um, if I ask you for what is your jump off or what do you think is the highlight that you can share um, if you talk about Hablon? Well, um, to start off, um, Hablon is actually, um, it is actually a weaving process um, that is um, organic in the Philippines and everyone here from Luzon to Mindanao um, are really in touch with Hablon, the weaving, the weaving um, industry. But um, sad to say, um, Mindanao and um, Luzon are are the the more popular. Together with they have their own already. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. together with the Iloilo weaving industry. But um, Cebu, for 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 at that time, I guess it wasn't that popular. So I really tried to look at it, and and, and through my research, um, it is really actually it's actually a dying industry. So that was that was in 2007, 2007 to 2009. Be, between you that may time. see, you may uh, somewhat like say that the process has, is dying. Or um, yes, um, the industry is actually sort of not probably not really dying, but it hasn't been in the limelight for a long time. So back in the day, um, um, uh, there was um, you know once ago there's really like a. Uh, a clamor for everything Cebu, mm -hmm. and I remember I launched this line called Linnea Cebuana, but I used um, Thai silk, I used other materials, even Malaysian silk that, you know, I could more or less compare with Filipino silk, but we don't have that, uh, except for Pina, mm -hmm. which is really one of the, the best um, in the Philippines. So, so then, um, nobody was able to give me that chance to really come to Argao, and, um, and so, uh, three years ago, when I started talking to uh, Vice Governor Adam Smalfale, um, so she was instrumental in giving me actually the, 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 the line to connect here in Argao. At the same time, um, then Mayor, Vice Mayor um, Stanley Caminero, now the mayor, mm -hmm. actually um, went there, went to Agnes Smalfale, Madam Agnes, Honorable 
um, vice governor and talked about Dalaga and Arduanan and they're promoting the Haplon. So right then and there, I was able to uh, I was able to say that that was the start of um, if, if you the say about story. promotions on Haplon, um, can you be more specific about it? Like what method or what channel or platform have you done to really promote Haplon? Yes. Oh, well, as a fashion designer, I really um, thought of creating a line for myself mm -hmm. to promote the weaving industry. So I created the the brand called Amano. Okay. Um, it's it's named after the root word mano mano, which mm -hmm. is like done by hand. So um, when I was able to meet everyone in Argao, um, that's when everything really started. Because they were the ones who really provided the material for me to create this um, this, this clothing line. And we launched that in the Dalagang Argawana. It's a beauty pageant here in Argao that um, is focused on the weaving mm -hmm. um, industry or the hablon as the main feature. Aside from the only um, known beauty pageant that is um, exclusively speaking okay. Misaya, All right. okay. the dialect. So this initiative has actually paved the way for, like I believe there is now a shared service facility. Mm -hmm. uh, so so um, you're trying to say that this has paved the way well, for the development of Ablon now? Yeah, I guess it's part of it. All right, the, the city, you are Gao, they have this extension program. It's focused on industry and um, um, handicrafts. So they were also the ones um, pro pro proposing to um, DTI All right. about this and then um, so there was able the, uh, the, the, the DTI um, regional office was able to give them funding okay. so now the SSF which is shared service facility of DTI um, as we speak now here mm -hmm. this is where we stand so like if you look from 2007 up to the present what do you think um, are the major changes that has happened mm -hmm. in terms of production in terms of appreciation and yeah. on? I say it's a burgeoning industry now. Mm -hmm. I call it um, really progressive right. because back in the day, um, hablon was just thought of um, the material used for um, habol, mm -hmm. which is really from the right root word right. habol, uh -huh. and then labakara, mm -hmm. which is toalia, the towels. And later on, um, because hablon has a lot of materials, one of them is cinnamai. So with cinnamai and um, uh, cotton polyester, it's called polyhem. Mm -hmm. So they're able to use that for gifts, um, decors. And now lately, um, with the cotton polyester, um, I was able to experiment on that and really make clothes out of it and try to push that in the market and tell my clients that, you know, we should support local mm -hmm. and give Hablon a chance to, you know, be recognized and, you know, be proud of it as a one. So that we could call Hablon and the Hablon our And how was the reception when you made that initiative? Well, everyone was really happy to mm -hmm. know that there's this weaving industry. In fact, I had, a, I had an I, I, I believe it's somewhat like an unknown. Um, industry right um for for a while yes, i okay. guess uh, maybe it was uh then in the day and when it was like still progressive mm -hmm. but but it lately died down mm -hmm. um, because other things were focused on you know a lot of you know ventures from food to ecotourism and all that so the industry probably didn't really had that much exposure i want to understand also the impact of employment to the municipality mm -hmm. um earlier on i was actually talking to to a weaver i i yeah. believe that um there was there's even a, a story where in um we have a weaver who is 19 years old and even as old as 70 years old so um do you think it has opened more opportunities to the to the women in the municipality yeah i'd like to believe that uh, it is really creating an industry now mm -hmm. we tell we call it now really a, a progressive industry because from the mountain barangays of Tulik here in Argao, um, it has come down to to where we are right now. More of the, the municipal area, it's the Lungsud, as we as we say, um, because of the shared service facility. DTI donated um, twenty five looms, okay. which is now and open what does that to mean? Everyone. Like if, if there is a donation of twenty five looms, so um, no? well that means that there will be more looms and more people to to be trained. Okay, and at the same time, you know the production will be better and bigger, and orders will come in, and people uh, in Arda will be able to accept it, accept orders <coughs> now, and this will be given. Uh, this will give a chance to. Everyone from the barangays who come to ano, and even the school itself, the CTU actually is is putting it in the curriculum, making it like part of their subjects wow, to really very, very do weaving. So students now um, no longer, you know, look at tablon as a, as a, as probably just a folklore or probably you know a legend, but it is really a tangible industry that 
they can they can learn and they can earn from. And so from a tradition that is creating really a major impact <coughs> to the municipality. I want to talk also about your Amano. So maybe yes. you can just like orient to me the products that you have experimented. Mm -hmm. are, are these are some samples of the products that, yes. that um, came came from, from the Amano um, industry also? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the Amano line was, re was really given the chance to, to flourish and bloom through the Dalagan, Argawan, and Little mm -hmm. Pageant. So every year during the fiesta, I'm, I'm given the chance to create the collection for the pageant and at the same time slowly developing the line for my clients as well. So I order in, in Argao and I created um, you know, um, casual clothes, even okay. formals. And lately we created already gowns, which wow. are like ball gowns because um, when DTI discovered everything about the Hablon, um, rediscovered as, as we say it, um, we already have now 60 width looms, which is really the, 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 the width that is capable of making balloon skirts. So last year we were able to create balloon skirts, even a bridal gown made of Hablon because it is now capable of creating voluminous skirts because of the bigger width. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it actually is um, now people in, in the in, in the city and even our, my friends in abroad, yeah, when home. when I post something they really like to get hold of it and buy it because it is not just the material or the, the hablon itself that makes them made them realize that um, there is this dying industry, but it's an advocacy behind I it. Know. That we are we are trying to revive it, we're believing in it and we wanna believe um, that every year it becomes bigger and better and soon to be like a major industry because um, to call our, our, our fashion industry an industry, there should be manufacturing of textiles. Yes, that's true. Otherwise, we're just a group of creative people. We are just a group of Cebuanos who actually are very good in you know making ideas. wonders oh, and ideas. I know, I know. Oh. But when you go back to reality, mm -hmm. the, the thing there is that the material isn't really from Cebu. Mm -hmm. we, 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 as a trading capital, we start, we start really Cebu as a trading capital. We get imports everywhere. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't really show what we are capable of making. As creative as we are, we have to research more from the fabric to agriculture to how it's done and originally from really planting whatever we can do to create a new fabric. And as I understand, there are even some institutions who are willing to partner in terms of research and development. Amazing, kung ito ni kakuti ang pag pagbuhib. So amazing na this has been passed on from generation to generation, and ma amaze ko na they're doing this for at mga eight hours on the hours on the hours from Monday to Saturday. Karon ang akong pangutan na pila man ang ilang matiwas sa usa ka adlaw. Three to four meters. So what? Which? How many meters is this now? How many meters is this now? This is mga 15 meters. So they can do 3 to 4 meters in a day. So that would mean if we do math, if we do our math right, it's around mga 3 days already. I know? This thing is amazing. So I would like to honor the women behind this, um, the weaving industry, behind this support. And um, later on, we discover pa na to kung asa na nagpadulong ang Para mas makasabuta sa uh, sa hablon industry, mga tuta sa ilang hal ayan. Kala, kuyok ta. Ma'am, pwede ni mo explain na mo kung unsa ning hal ayan? Oo, oh, kera sir. Sige. Kani siya mo unay paguna o kuan kanang processing sa paghablon. Kapag hal ay mag mag uh, kuan ra mag kuan mi og 20 ka cones. Magdepende. So 20 cones mo unay siya. Oh, um, oh, sir. So 1 2 3 4 5. Oh, okay. O, amo ni siyang balik-balik kung hantod nga makuan ang amo nga ginanglan nga lugas. Ah, okay. Um, yes. Kada kuan kay 20 ramani. So, oh. inigbalik na mo ani, mo 40 na ni siya. Okay. O, oh, niya. Hantod na nga, mag, kuan na dyan may hantod na mahuman o pila ka lugas ang mong ginanglan o parehas anang tag-as nga. Kada, kada, what do you call this, katong weaving, o saka, yung ani? Mauni ang... O, oh, mauni siya sa oga yan. Oh, mauni siya, sir. So, mauni ng product, mo na no? Oh. Oh, katong na ay, muna ko na mo dito, itong dagkog-lugas, muna ko to siya. So, yun, ah, nag-uli siya kakuti, no? Hmm. 
Muli siya, dahil yun alam mo, ibutang niya ni sir. Magagawaan niyo. Pila man ang mabuhat ni anak ninyo sa usa ka adlaw Mag, ay sorry sir. Magdipindi sir kung kuan ka ng og daghanan ang ipabuhat ni Madam Cho. Mm -hmm. oh. Depende sa order. Oo, oh, oh, depende sa order. Okay. Kung ginahanglan og daghan, nagkandaghan ng kuna mo, gamay-gamay. Gamay yun rakod na mo. So mauna ni siya. Oo, oh, okay. mauna ni siya sir. Wow, yeah. amazing. Mag Magkalikaw ka, kay aron nga ibutang ni siya tag sa tagsa sa katang... Samtang gibuhat ni Nimo, unsa man ang naasa imong minor, unsa man ang imong gihuna-huna. Focus, 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 Huwag mo ni siyang mo kung kung kuan pa sa kinaboy, marag mo ni maghatang og strength, no? Okay. Really, really amazing, no? Thank you, sir. So, this is now. Okay. So, this is another kind of strength. This is pure cotton. So, this is pure cotton. Oh, kana siya. Bini na ta. Mo na nga itong gitawag na maghinablo na ta. Oo. Okay, so maghinablo na ta. Mo na na-imaw na ito, enda ko anda. Alright, okay. So, maghinablo na. So, mauna ni siya. Oh, you can look at it. So, mag, so gain kan din eh. Mauna ni siya ang result. And later on, mga ito sa ubos. O, oh, ilikis na sa ito. Ilikis na. Mm, okay. Ay, pagkahuman, ino na po na siyang ilugtong tagsa-tagsa. Amazing. Makita niyo mo dito. Alright, sige. So, mga ito na po sa ubos. Magpa, magpatabang na po ko niyo para mas masabta na ako kung unsa yun niyang hadbablog sure. industry. Oh, okay, sir. Atong tanawo na karon ang proseso na kung giunsa ni Nimo. Nimo. Duman dito sa oh. warping. So mao na ni. Si Nimo na ni sa Gigi sir. Okay, so mao na to. Oh, nyagi. Amo na to ang gikuan. Amo na ni di pagsatag sa pagkuan, dugtong. Pagkahuman ako na po di niya ang kuan. Okay. Ay na po ni pasoy. Oh. Amo na po ni siya nga kuanon pag Pagkakuan na rin po, ako na po ni Hukson. Kaya ako na po makasugod na po ni Hablon. Hinanan na po ni. Sige, oo. Para na siya yan na. Kasi yan na. Hukson niya. Pinahang na yun niya siya ka Hukson. Oo. Ang quality, no? Very, very important. Okay. Okay. Kung luwag ko siya, di ba? Ah, nga nung lahit-lahit man niya color. Na, 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 kung sa may byproduct na ito ni Ani. Ah, isumpayan na ni siya na po, sir. Okay. Kay, o magtagsatag sa may diri o sulod, man, madugay man. Okay, man. O, oh, dyan. Amun lang, idugtong kay Burahan, inigkuan. Amun lang, mas luto. Effect to, di ba? Effect niya. Nila po'y nakit ang gani, ha? Asa na ito, ha? Murag mauna ni siya nga dadanag color, kani? O, sir. Mauna ni siya. O. Mauna na. Kani siya lang, white and black lang eh. O, o. So, mauna siya kung atong tanawo, no? Kung makita na ito, lahi-lahi lang iyang color, no? Mm -hmm. So, yung anak, uh, shall I say, magnificent, no? So, how, how amazing the effect. So, murag yung ani nagi mm -hmm. uh, sumpay sumpay oh, And then, sumpay eventually, mauna siya ang naging effect. Alright. This is truly amazing. <laughs> So, pakahuman o sumpay, magunsa naman ta? Magsugod na taghablon, sir. Ah, okay. Kanaan na mo nga i-point out na Sige. from there, ang kakutin ba? Uh -huh. Kaya diba, 900 strands for 36 inches. Sino nito, 36 inches? Oh, 36 na. So, 36, we're talking of 900. 900 strands. So, so akong i-recap no, sa for, for, for 36 Inches, na asay 900 strands. Ano siya ka intricate? Unya, the strands has to pass each of the holes in the handle. Handle may ngan ane. Ang ang local term ane is kunghon. Oo. Unya. So dapat makalusot o mo agi diha. Kada usa. This is like up and down. Wow. Digyuka, digyuka dapat musikyat. So when you say sipet, dapat wala yung mag-shortcut? Wala yun. Our weavers are actually connecting to the thread. So connecting to the thread, and thus we have a very, very good outcome or output 
Mao to atong nakita na ganiha, no? Ing ana ka amazing. That is how they really connect to the product. Maribel pila na makakatuig nga uh, naghinablon. Ano ba? Mga 20 plus na jud sir. 20 years? Mm -hmm. So daga pa ka or minyo ka? Daga pa. Dalaga until karon. Oo. Mm -hmm. Pero kung tanaw na to katong 20 years nga naghinablon ka, um, unsa may mga nahitabo sa imong kinabuhi? Unsa ba na unsa ang kanang mga mga nakita nato nga na, 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 naitabang sa imo doing this ablon? Para sa ako as sir, dako ko kay naikatabang sa ako as sir kay karon. Mora kay ako ang panginabuhian niya. Sikat gud pagkaminyo na ko hangtod pod karon ako ang anak dani kalis na. Naghablon pod. Oo, oh, naghablon gud ah. siya sir, uli na kay Ah, pila naman, how old is your ko anak ka ng anak? Ako, uh, 19 na siya sir. So, naa siya 19 years old mm. na maghablon po. Mm. So, grabe ka amazing, no? So, gika niya being in the hablon business for 20 years and now, naa siya 19 years old na mag, 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 uh, mag ma, shall I say, nag-enjoy po, no? Mm. Sa iyang gibuhat. Ma'am, ikaw how many years ka have been, have been in this advocacy? One Twenty fourteen. Oh. Yeah, kami man sa imo when you started or kadang um, being really part of this advocacy. Kuan, kadang nakarealize ko nga in the academy sometimes it's so boring. Like classroom naman. Pero pag-abot na nga na anam ni extension services, it widened my understanding kung ang role sa women ba. Na they can really so, mas na-empower ang women. Yes. No? Naging part yes. sila. And mas na-enjoy nila. Yes. Kaya kami po, we feel very productive. Bisagi kami na kaglo. We become part of it. And I think there na po yung relationship na na-build with each oh, other. Yes. If we're looking at kani kung full production ni siya or full force, pila man ni siya kabuo kang ano na to, ang mga women no na nag Ini sila nga ang yun na to ni Fitness 8-9. Okay, 8-9. Uban ko ani na amang to community. 8-9 full time. Oh. Asa community mao na tong sa tunik no? Tulik. Tulik. Okay, oo. Oh. So man alegre mga bata nila ang usang makaila. Oo, oh, ang ilaha po mga bata because they become also part of the production. Kaya katuloy niyo makita dito na ibana ng kalinyas. Mm -hmm. Kaya ko ang nagbabin one sa hilo. Oh, yung tabang ko. So yung ani siya ka-amazing, no? Si Maribel nagsugod 20, at said I say 20 years ago. Nagsugod siya, nga usapan siya kadaga, and then she got married, and then, ang iyang 19 years old nga anak, naging part na of the sablon industry. O dili lang na, iya pag-iingon, nang nag-improve po ng iyang kinabuhi. Sakto ba ako gisulti, Maribel? Oo, oh, sir. Gusto siya na, sir. Gusto na yung nakatabang na ko. So do you see na ka na mas mag-grow, mag-expand pa yun ang sablon industry oh. din sa Argao? Ang inaot yun unta po, sir. Alright. Um, padayon jud ang amo ang pangyari. Og mas daghan pa ang mas mm, maka-appreciate mm, no sa sa product nato sa Hamlo. Oo. Oh, sa jud na among gitangayan jud ta. Sige, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so salamat, much. Salamat, sir. From 2007, the discovery, the progress and the development. How is this to you now as a Cebuano and as a Filipino having this um sense of pride, I think? Uh, yes, actually. This has actually changed my lifestyle. All right. And this is actually very instrumental in creating my new concept and mission vision that I want to do for myself. Because right now, as we speak, um, Montebello Villa Hotel, the only garden hotel in Cebu, is offering me a space wow. um, to promote the Hablon and the local industry in Cebu. They wanted me to put everything there made in Cebu. So this is now giving um, a retail store. I get Ablon is given a space to promote a retail store in in um, uh, Montebello, and we can actually reach out to more clientele there, and even the foreigners who who check in there probably will have the chance to really experience it firsthand and and like first and feel the fabric. Yeah, this is one of, of of what's bound to happen for Ablon. Um, what's what's the other direction that is coming along the way for Hablon? Mm. Well, the the, the Hablon industry actually, I would say in 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 um, Argao is now on its like I guess fifty percent to eighty percent and its peak. Now, for me, um, I guess a new material because like we can weave um, cotton, we can weave um, 
um, what's this, um, pinya or abaca, but to create a new material, which we call our own, probably breed silkworms and create a new mm -hmm. Cebu silk, that would make uh, Cebu the, the the, the, the city to recon with. Wow. Uh, so um, that is at, that is one of the aims, but I know it's going to take a long time. If we continue to push for that, and with your help and promoting this one, I'd like to say thank you to your team for, for bringing this more to a global scale because, as we say, to make it global, we have to give local a chance to globalize. And, and talking about global, I, as, under, uh, as I understand, you had um, shows already in Las Vegas and and another yes. international show coming along. Mm. We were offered a show in Las Vegas, but I was able to to fly there. Okay. But the, the Hablon made it there. Okay. Um, through our friend Pops Makatan, who was able to bring it there in the show in Las Vegas. And this um, end of August, we are offered by um, a Canada, a Canada, uh, Canada Canadian group of Cebuanos and Filipinos who are really um, trying to um, promote Philippine fabrics. And there's Mindanao, there's um, Luzon, but in Cebu, they wanted to 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 have me uh, join the show, and hopefully, if if plans really would, you know, push through, push push through, through and yeah. all, so I'll be able to fly there and promote. Uh, if I ask you to visualize the direction that you would want to take for Hablon, can you tell me a picture that is like running into your mind right now? Uh, how, yeah. how what, what, in what is that kind of picture? Okay, um, so. Uh, for my for my own label, Amano, um, it is gonna be positioned as a, a retail um, store or like an apparel, which caters to uh, Hablon and the other industries in Cebu, even um, jewelry and all, um, and then mix it with different materials and components to really come up with a made in Cebu or a Cebu product, and um, I wanted to 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 really push for it. Um, as a as a retail and you know, retail and lifestyle product, which is not just focused on fashion, but it's also um, in touch with um, you know um, table runners, bed covers, furniture, home decor. So that's really it's really a promising industry. It's really just up to us to one story really push push the boundaries of creating fashion and lifestyle um, products that we can call our. Your passion, your commitment is really contagious, and I think this is our your chance also to like, um, as, 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 uh, having the social media platform yes. to maybe encourage our Filipino uh, people on how we can appreciate more Hablon. Okay, so um, yes, first of all, thank you for for giving us a chance. But um, since we're on social media and we are seen worldwide, I know. I'd like to invite everyone to visit Cebu come to our gal because um, we actually need help. You know, so this is us reaching out to the world that we Filipinos should unite, even Cebuanas in particular, um, to, to revive this industry and to support it. But at the same time, um, come and visit our gal and Cebu to really, um, to really you know, get hold of the material and appreciate not just the material but the advocacy that we're working on behind it. Because without the help of the outside forces, we won't be given the chance to really create a blonde group. Definitely, we would like to connect with you. If you would like to cancel, we would like to abort this notion or this interpretation that Hablon is dying. From what we have uh, discussed with, with Dexter, it's giving us a better understanding on where Hablon is going. And we, we encourage all the Filipinos, not only the Filipinos, but even the tourists, to visit Argao and appreciate Hablon.